Hello everyone, welcome to my kitchen. My name is Michael and today I thought we would make some sourdough pizza toast. So I made my sourdough bread. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put that link in the description box below. And I wanted to have pizza. I was kind of craving pizza and I thought I'm just going to use the sourdough bread that I made as my crust and that way I don't have to make a dough and it's real easy. It's for those quick meals when you don't have time and you've got some bread laying around you think what am I going to do? For dinner and you see that and you think okay I'll just use that so I've got my sauce over here on the side and I've got it heating up and you can use your homemade sauce if you have some if you want to use the jar sauce you can definitely do that just heat it up just a little bit there and then I'm going to go ahead and transfer this over to the stove so that I can get ready for my other pan here that we're going to be using for our toast I'll be right back all right now that I've got my sauce heated up on the stove I do have my oven turned on to 375 I'm going to go ahead and preheat that up and I've got me a pan here that's got some foil on it and uh, I've got a baking rack in it and the reason I put the little rack on the inside of it if you've got one of these is when you put your toast in the oven to melt the cheese and get everything warm it will kind of get a little soggy on the bottom if you don't do that so I like to put that on there. you can spray some spray on it it'll be a little bit easy to clean and that's the reason for the foil in the bottom of the pan also just for cleanup so we don't have to worry about having all of that ready to go so I've got some of my butter here I've got this that I made from scratch. If you haven't seen how to make homemade butter and you're interested in it, maybe you might want to check out that video. I'll put that link in the description box below. You can definitely check that out and see if you'd be interested in making some butter. All right, so I think I've got everything ready now. I've got my ingredients. I'm gonna be using pepperoni tonight and I've got some mushrooms and I've got some mozzarella cheese that I'm gonna grate up. And of course, the star of the show tonight is our sourdough bread. If you don't have sourdough and you've got this regular uh, bread that you've got from a loaf bread you can definitely use that buns hamburger buns if you've got some left over you can definitely use this anything that's any kind of bread artisan bread works whatever you've got that's what we're going to use so i've got my pan heating up here and i'm going to go ahead and slice my toast and you can make this as thick or as thin as you want i'm going to make mine up just a little over an inch on that and that way that we get a nice crust on those and we'll get that cut just like that. So, all right, so I got my first piece here. I think I'm gonna make two of these for me. So I'm gonna cut into one, another one that's identical to it. And you can cut up as much of this as you need for you or your family. That's what's nice about this recipe. And this is one of those really easy and quick. Don't have to worry about trying to do too much if you've got the bread on hand. All right, now that we've got our bread cut, I'm gonna take some of my butter and I've got my knife here. And I'm just going to spread that on the top here on both of these pieces. And I'm going to turn it over on the other side and put some on the other side as well. All right, let's put that into our pan and get ready to toast that. And I'm going to work on this other piece. All right, I've got my toast in my container here and we're cooking that. So definitely keep a watch on that. We don't want that to burn. And because I've got such a little eye here on this one, it's probably going to cook in the middle and not going to cook evenly on this. But hopefully this skillet that I've got here will disperse the heat enough that we can do that and we'll get a nice little toast on our bread. And while that's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and work on my cheese. We'll just grate up some cheese here. Use whatever you've got for that. I've got some mozzarella here. If you like cheddar on yours, you can definitely do some of that as well. All right, we've got our toast ready to go. So let's get our pan over here and let's start making our pizzas. We just want to make sure that that's going to get a nice color to that. That's very nice there. That way that our sauce doesn't soak right down into the, the bread itself. All right, you choose whichever side you like is your favorite for that. All right, that didn't do too bad at all. Now let's get ready to put some of our sauce on the top. So we'll just take our pan here and we'll put some of our sauce on our bread. If you like a lot of sauce, put as much on it as you like or as little. All right, there we go. We've got our sauce on there now. And if you just want some cheese, you can just put some cheese on your pizza. All right, now that we've got our cheese on, I'm going to put some of these pepperonis that I've got here on the top. And then I've got some of these mushrooms. I really like mushrooms on a pizza. We'll put some of those on and spread those around. And now I'm going to top it off with some more cheese. I love cheese. That's probably my downfall. So I'm going to put just a little bit more on the top of these right here. Let's pop these into that 375 degree oven. And we'll look at these maybe about five minutes because everything's already heated. We toasted the bread. We heated up our sauce. And we just want the cheese to melt on the top now. 375. Take them out when yours is done. 
I'll be back in just a minute. I am back and my sourdough pizza toast is out of the oven. I wanted to show you what that looked like. This looks absolutely incredible. And what a way to use your sourdough or any other bread that you've got. Make these little pizzas and you saw how easy it is. And you probably have everything already in your home, in your pantry anyway. So let's give this a try and see what this tastes like. That is absolutely delicious. That hint of that sourdough is coming out in there. That sauce, that cheese, those pepperonis, mushrooms, whatever you like on yours, you do your recipe the way you like yours. I hope you like this content. And if you do, maybe you might consider giving me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And check out one of the other two videos over here on the side. You might find something else you like. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye now.